Have you ever paused to marvel at the microscopic universe teeming with life, tucked away in the most unexpected corners of our world? The universe we're diving into today, my friends, is that of bacteria, specifically two types, Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. Archaebacteria, as the name suggests, are ancient. They hail from a time when Earth's conditions were extreme, and so they have an affinity for extreme environments. These microscopic organisms thrive in places you and I would consider inhospitable. The boiling hot springs of Yellowstone, the frigid Arctic waters, the salt-saturated Dead Sea, or even the oxygen-free depths of a sewage treatment plant. Their cell walls lack peptidoglycan, a substance found in most other bacteria, giving them the ability to survive in these harsh conditions. They're also unique in that they don't use sugar for energy, like most living organisms. Instead, they produce energy from gases like methane or substances like sulfur. On the other hand, we have eubacteria, or true bacteria, as the name translates. These are the bacteria most of us are familiar with. They live in soil, water, and even inside us, as part of our gut flora. Unlike their ancient counterparts, eubacteria have cell walls composed of peptidoglycan, and they use sugar for energy. They can be found in a variety of shapes and sizes, from the rod-shaped E. coli to the spherical Staphylococcus. Some are useful, aiding in digestion or decomposing dead organisms, while others can cause diseases like tuberculosis or cholera. Although they're both bacteria, archaebacteria and eubacteria are as different as night and day. Archaebacteria are ancient survivors, living in extreme environments with unique cell walls and energy sources. On the contrary, eubacteria are the more common, versatile bacteria, living in a variety of environments with peptidoglycan cell walls and sugar as an energy source. In summing up, remember that bacteria are not all the same. Archaebacteria, the ancient ones, love extreme conditions and have unique ways of surviving. Eubacteria, the true bacteria, are more familiar to us, living in our bodies, in the soil and in water. They're versatile and play many roles, from aiding in digestion to causing diseases. So the next time you think about bacteria, remember this. They're not just tiny organisms, but a vibrant, diverse world, playing a crucial role in our ecosystem. They're the unsung heroes of our planet, working tirelessly behind the scenes, shaping the world as we know it. And that's the fascinating world of Archaebacteria and Eubacteria, my friends. A world that's small in size but colossal in impact.